Welcome here to the Finding uh, Bulldogs.com podcast here. We got a special one-on-one interview with uh, recent commit Cyrus Tutele. Cyrus, welcome to the welcome to the podcast. How are you doing today? Uh, thank you, thank you. Um, you know, I, you know, I'm, just, I'm just super excited for this year and um, for uh, whatever it's going to uh, just, uh, just I'm just too excited. Yeah. Uh, oh, well, congrats on the commitment to uh, Fresno State here. Uh, really wanted to kind of uh, ask you uh, how that everything, how that all went down um, and everything like that. So first I wanted to ask you uh, a series of questions. What made Fresno State, obviously, the place for you, and what kind of factors went into your decision there? Well, one of them was it wasn't that far away from home. Also, that, um, but it's far enough for me to, uh, you know, be an individual and, you know, be on my own. Uh-huh. But, you know, the parents don't have to fly out or anything to watch my game. They can just come down and drive and be able to come to probably all my home games. And um, also Tedford, who is also just an amazing head coach that um, I've been watching since I was a kid. And um, he's going to turn his program around. And I just wanted to be a part of it. What what was kind of the uh, main selling point, uh, you know, with the, obviously the new coaching staff and everything and and all that? What was kind of the main uh, huge selling point uh, that really made uh, Fresno kind of the place for you under the new staff? Um, and just as a pro, as a school overall, what was kind of the main selling points for you? For me, probably had to be Tedford because he's just. I just heard, like, my town is just a big fan of Tedford, and uh-huh. um, I just, you know, I, I was like, I was just surprised that he, he came to Fresno. I didn't even know until I went there, and, um, you know, I was like, wow, what would be a great opportunity just to be playing under this guy, like, just being coached by him, and that was, like, a big factor for me. And, um, I was, I was I curious, how many times have, have you been able to make visits uh, to the program, um, and when might those have kind of been there? Um, well, I took one official visit, uh, last Saturday. Okay. And that was my uh, only, um, because they recruited me kind of late, actually. Uh huh. Two weeks ago, they offered me, and I was like, whoa, they came out of nowhere. And uh, I was like, yeah, sure. And then I just took a visit, and he fell in love with me. I would love to hear kind of like what what were you what what did you kind of do uh, on that official visit and everything? What was kind of the, your day by day breakdown? Well, you know, they gave us a hotel, and, we, and we, uh, they fed us really well. And um, we just like um, we just I just learned about the schooling, and uh, I learned about the routines they go through every day on an everyday basis. And um, we went through around town, me and my family, just checking out the environment. And um, honestly, like I love Fresno. It's just like um, where I live in Chico. Yeah, it's a it's a big town, but it doesn't really feel like it. Yeah, because yeah. I don't know. It has that small town feeling, even though it has like nearly a million people in it. What 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 are some other things besides kind of maybe like the football uh, aspect? You know, you coach Tedford and everything. You know, you said you got to see kind of the campus, got the overall atmosphere, atmosphere, um, and everything. Like, what what are some of the things that you that really stuck in your mind with uh, on that visit? For me, it was all the coaches he um, that he has gathered. Mm-hmm. Um, it's was, it was just amazing that how many coaches just you know, wanted us to be a part of this, like, especially, like, the, the our strength coordinator, uh, he was from Stanford, and, you know, he, he uh, took the job here, and I was like, whoa, I, I was just surprised how, it was just, I was just amazed, and then, um, especially, and I, another thing was, um, the DB, for, uh, Waylon Free, decommitted from USC, and decided to come here, which is also amazing. Yeah. And, um, you know, I think, Everyone just wants to be a part of this um, this new movement that Fresno is going to go through. Yeah, um, curious on when you when you you know you said yeah you, you received the offer not too long and then you know you announced your commitment there. How did you kind of inform the staff and what was what what did they kind of say uh, when they heard the news? Um, they were um they were, they were just happy and um they're they're um because I, I told Coach Tepper I wanted to commit um at dinner actually the day um on Saturday usually we're supposed to um I usually tell them how the visit goes on Sunday but I couldn't like hold it in yeah because I was gonna um, I couldn't sleep so I decided to tell them like right I I just put them away from the dinner table and 
I um, I just told him that and I um I really feel really strong with this and I I think I I want I want to come in here. Did you? And then, um, did you kind of did you kind of just know that that was going to be the the place for you? Yeah, like just Coach Grubb came to my house. Um, yeah, the two weeks when they offered me, and and to, he was just one of the realest guys I talked to so like ever. One of the realest coaches, and uh, that was like I felt like a I felt like I had a um, just a strong relationship, even though we just that we just met. And uh, he's just a great guy, Coach Grubb, and um. Just the whole coaching staff overall is just amazing. They're super friendly, you know. They want the best out of you, and just they're just absolutely amazing. Well, it seems like you you really developed a strong, even though it was a quick turnaround uh, on maybe the relationship. But it seems like you really developed a strong connection with the with the staff at Fresno State there, real quickly. Yeah, I just I don't know. It's just it's just amazing. Um, I was. I was um, I was just surprised when I first got there. It was just, um, they were just super friendly, super nice. And, you know, they, they just treated me like family already, right from the get-go. And, you know, like, I, I respect that 100%. And I just, it's just um, amazed me. Now, the, now, a little bit off of uh, your commitment here, I would love to hear more about kind of like how you, uh, your game here. Um, first of all, what are, what are some of the things that you could probably, that you, you personally want to bring to Fresno State, whether it's, you know, leadership or anything, or on the field, off the field, or anything like that, what are you hoping to bring to a program uh, like uh, Fresno State? Well, I want to I, I give friends all about all, honestly. Just the schedule's really tough this year, and um, mm-hmm. I just want to, I just want to give them just all of me, you know, my heart, I just want to work hard, and, um, you know, study hard too, and, you know, give friends of my own, and hopefully I can um, help them achieve what they want this year. What are you going to be kind of focused on, I mean, with the decision behind you, what are, what are you going to be kind of focusing on uh, with your game and everything in the, in the off season? Uh, I need to, uh, first of all, I need to work on my, um, to help with my time management. Also, uh, just uh, for me to get the flow of, um, of schooling and football at the same time at the at the next level, which should be much more difficult than you know high school, yeah, high school level, and um, I just need to study harder. And luckily, they have study hours mandatory, which I like honestly. Yeah, that uh, they can I can be on top of my schoolwork at the same time that I can follow the diet and be working hard every week, so I can improve myself every day. I got you. As a player, uh, we'd love to hear kind of like uh, in your mind uh, some of the strengths that you think you that you have that you, obviously you'll you'll bring onto the field, um, but maybe some of the weaknesses that you that obviously you'll be working on with the coaching staff and everything uh, in your game there. For me, I know I have the strength and speed to play the next level. It's just that technique wise, I need to I need to be working on, which I believe these coaches can definitely do in no time uh-huh. and I trust them to teach me the abilities that I need to go that further step that I need to go and um, also I need to um, yeah so just my technique and um, my confidence in myself you know sometimes I just doubt myself but these coaches I know they can they're a great staff and they'll bring me up to my um, highest my highest um, potential. I got you. Have you been able to kind of talk to any of the uh, other recruits and commitments um, so far, or any of them? Yeah, I, I, um, I actually um, got, because um, three guys actually committed that same day. Yeah. So me and two others committed. Um, you know, we were, it was just, it was just um, awesome together. We already like, you know, we were just talking about who's going to room with each other and um, one of the commitments, uh, Mark Davis, he's, I, like I already have a lot to, uh, like we have um, a lot a lot um, we just like I like each other like we like the same things we both like the same teams uh-huh. the NFL teams it's just it's just funny and then we just like we can just talk for hours and um, like I already feel like a cl- uh, like I already feel like kind of close to those uh, those guys even though I've met them for like three days I got you I got you well. It's, it sounds like I mean obviously you uh, relationships you've built in with the with the staff and obviously with uh, the commitments already it seems to be working in your favor and you know it's, it seems like a strong relationship early on there with the, with everybody. Yeah. 
Well, I I, I like kind of I kind of like to end uh in the one on one here. Just uh, do you have anything that you might want to say to maybe the future fans uh, at Fresno State or anything like that? Well, all I gotta say is fans is that um, I want to give my all. And hopefully we'll give you, I'll give you guys a, a really enjoyable season this year. And, you know, just go Bulldogs. Yeah. Well, I know that I know they'll be looking for you, and they're excited about the, the signing day and everything and seeing you in the coming years. So, uh, Cyrus, thank you for joining us for the on the podcast today. Um, you know, we'll be definitely in touch with you, and we look forward to down the road here with you. All right. Thank you for having me. Thank you.